Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. And it's been a little bit of time since I've looked at gaming on Linux, and that's what we're gonna do today. It's a new year, 2020. Now it's time to take a look at gaming in Linux, and we're gonna use the most popular distro that seems to be out there right now, and that's Ubuntu. And we're gonna see if Ubuntu 19.10 plays nicely with Steam's Proton Initiative, where they're actually making games that aren't necessarily designed for Linux, able to be run through a compatibility layer. And the goal of this system System really is to get it to the point where it's basically a one-click thing where from the user's end of things you install Steam you install the game everything goes smoothly you click play and you play your games now obviously that's not as easy as it is in the real world but I did want to see how well things have been coming along and that's what we're gonna do Now, when this initiative first launched, one of the first games that was supported was Doom. And I didn't have such a great experience even with that title. I loaded up Linux on a new system. I got everything installed and Doom didn't actually work very well when it was announced as a whitelisted game, a game that was actually officially supported by Valve and by Steam. And I didn't try Doom out this time, but I did try another one of the officially supported games that I had uh, ready to go. I hadn't played it in a long time. That was Bioshock Infinite. And when I loaded it into Bioshock Infinite, and the gameplay that you're gonna be seeing here is actually at uh, 1600 by 900 resolution. That's just because that was the resolution my capture card was uh, sort of playing nice with. But I did run it without the capture card at 1920 by 1080. And I will say the experience was absolutely what it should be. I loaded it into the game. I put everything on high settings and I just played the game. I ended up playing for a little while, uh, longer than I certainly meant to on just capturing the gameplay. And everything was going perfectly smoothly. In fact, I wouldn't be able to tell that this was a Linux system at all based on on just what I was seeing in game. Now, I have no doubt that some performance is lost by running through this compatibility layer, at least in most titles. I imagine there's at least a little bit of loss of uh, frames between a Windows system, an actual native Windows system, and a Linux only system running the compatibility layers that are required, but everything seemed to run just perfectly with Bioshock Infinite, so that's a big thumbs up on that front from a natively supported game, or at least officially natively supported. Then I moved on to Halo Reach, which is a much more recent title on the PC platform and is definitely not officially supported right now by Steam, though if you go to the Proton database, uh, that's protondb.com, and I'll link that down below as well. There are lots of resources there for different games, whether they're supported very well, not supported at all. There's a ranking system, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and native, so you can kind of see where your favorite games are with support for Proton. Uh, everything actually ran really well with Halo Reach, and I was actually somewhat surprised by that. Now, I will say the first time I loaded into the game, there was a little bit of stuttering here and there, but actually after I loaded in the second time everything was buttery smooth and I actually had a really nice experience with Halo Reach playing through the first uh, mission or so and I have absolutely no complaints about it either beyond that just every now and then it seemed like the first time I loaded in it did stutter a little bit so you might experience that and again this is gonna be very hardware dependent in this case I'm using a Ryzen 1800X and a GTX 970 which obviously in gaming terms a 970 is a very modest card now in 2020 but still certainly capable at 1080p and the Ryzen 1800X is a couple of years old now, uh, actually two and a half, almost three years old now. So it's uh, definitely not current, up-to-date, cutting, bleeding edge hardware, but at the same time, it's very competent gaming hardware and everything was running smoothly in Halo Reach. Your results will vary, obviously, based on hardware configurations as well as just basic distribution uh, differences. You may not be running, for example, Ubuntu 19.10. And the last game I tried out today for the purposes of just sort of playing around was another game not fully supported and seemingly not running quite as well on Ubuntu 19.10, and that was Resident Evil 2 Remake. I was playing around in the police station, just sort of wandering around, and I did find a spot where there's a brief cutscene, and then after the cutscene comes back to to the gameplay, the game would freeze up every single time at the exact same spot. And this does seem to be a problem with this particular title where a lot of these cutscenes are needing to be skipped. There are some patches that are recommended in the Proton database through Steam communities and that sort of thing. And basically, this game can get up and running. It just requires a lot more tweaking from the user end of things. And that's really where we land with kind of the conclusion of just playing around with a few of these titles 
it's that Linux gaming has come a long, long way, and, and Valve has really pushed that along, and we owe a lot to Valve for that, because basically I can hop in almost any game and click play and have it at least load up. From there on though, there seems to be a pretty vibrant community of people that are recommending tweaks, patches, ways to get these games running and actually running fairly well on most Linux systems, or at least the most popular distributions. The problem is there's so many different distributions, there's so many different hardware configurations, and nothing is really outright officially supported for these games. Outside of the games that are actually officially supported on a Linux platform, we're relying on compatibility layers and basically hacks patches, tweaks, everything else to get these games running. There's no guaranteed way to make sure your games are gonna run identically on your system versus somebody else's system, which is what makes this whole system very hard to get up and running, at least running well. That all being said, we are at a point where we are a far cry away from back when you used to have to do all the compatibility layers yourself. You have to go in, find how to install Wine properly, get all the tweaks applied, and then get your games installed individually yourself. We are a long ways beyond that, so in that regard, Valve and Steam have taken us a long ways towards actually getting games pretty much up and running on Linux to the point where uh, I would venture to say that with Proton Plus natively supported games, Linux is probably a better gaming platform than something like Mac OS X. However, it is definitely nowhere near where Windows currently is with supported games and with having things just sort of work out of the box. So my recommendation is basically this. If you can, even if it's just running a dual boot machine instead of running it through Linux, run your gaming PC as a Windows-based PC. You're gonna save yourself a lot of headaches even to this day. However, if you're somebody that just likes to play around with Linux, maybe you run a main Linux desktop or just have a secondary PC that runs Linux and you just wanna play around with this sort of thing, this is a great way to get into gaming on Linux and sort of dive into the tweaks and patches that are required. And you basically just have to enjoy the process of actually tweaking with your games a little bit and patching your games and finding those various resources and in the meantime, you're also engaging in a very vibrant community uh, of Linux users that are trying to get Linux up and running and gaming with the best of Windows PCs. Obviously, we're not quite there yet, but it's a growing community. It's making definite headway. And if you're into tweaking and playing with your PC a little bit, then this may be the way to do it. But for those of you that are looking to just game, get a Windows PC install Windows 10. If you need to activate your license, you can get them for very cheap. Again, see the sponsor links down below for uh, getting your Windows-based PC up and running and having an actually activated uh, copy of Windows. But basically, I do wanna hear your guys' thoughts on gaming on Linux. Is this something you're actually interested in? Are you even really caring about looking for a replacement for Windows as your main desktop PC? And if you are, is Linux on your map at all? Or are you really just basically looking at Macs or even Hackintoshes, that sort of thing. Let me know all your thoughts on gaming on Linux in those comments down below. And of course, if you like the video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, and comment. All those things are very helpful for the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.